Do la do and welcome to another tutorial in web development. In this tutorial I'm gonna teach you how to make balls bounce in the HTML5 canvas. As you can see I can decide the velocity and the direction with my mouse. And here we go. Uh, we also have a uh, ball counter down here in the bottom left corner. So let's get started. First off make a new folder for your project um, bouncing balls and then we want to go ahead and download the uh, newest jQuery library from jQuery.com and we're gonna use this library to access the some uh, access the canvas tag and also to um, uh, make like uh, event listeners for when you move the mouse and release the mouse button and such. So go ahead and click download jQuery and if uh, you get a lot of crazy code just right click it and do save as and save it to your uh, desktop or wherever. Uh, I have jQuery uh, 1.2 8.1.min.js but you'll probably have a uh, newer version. Now put your jQuery library in your bouncing ball uh, folder and open uh, your favorite text editor to start coding. Go to file new file and save this as uh, bouncing balls, bouncing, bouncing balls. HTML. Save. Now I'm gonna change this to HTML5. Really doesn't matter, but yeah. Now uh, we want to start off by just making a basic HTML5 skeleton and I'm sure you know how to do this. I'm going to do it right here anyway. Uh, so the HTML5 declaration and then the HTML tag, then the head tag, and then we want to have the meta tag, char set, UTF-8, the title tag, oops, and then the style tag, and the script tag. Underneath the head tag, we put the body tag, and that's uh, our skeleton. Now let's start filling this in. So, title, bouncing bouncing oh god bouncing balls yay and in our body we want to put our canvas tag canvas and give your canvas the uh, ID canvas and uh, I know I might be going a bit fast, but feel free to pause it any second and copy. Uh, because I don't want to uh, do it slow and explain everything, because this is basic stuff. Now, um, some styling. Make all elements, that's the star. Margin, zero pixels. And padding. 0 pixels. So this will make all the elements have no margin and no padding. Now write HTML comma body and give them the width of a hundred percent and the height of a hundred percent and now do hashtag canvas or we don't need to access it by ID, we can access it by access it by just what it is, 
attribute I guess display block and this will um, remove any kind of uh, scroll bars like this one in the browser um, yes now uh, make a new script tag and we want to import our uh, jQuery library so type uh, language javascript and then uh, source srs src yeah jquery and 1.8.1 and then you want to put whatever version you have min.js and then the ending script tag yeah, let me remove this yeah so now we wanna we're basically done with all the HTML that we need for this project from now on we will only be coding in uh, um, in JavaScript so start off by uh, writing window dot on load equals function uh, and then the curly brackets and the parentheses uh, so this code that's inside of here will be run when uh, when the window is load loaded and from now on I wanna uh, step back on the speed and just uh, take it a bit slower because we're now getting into what the actual tutorial is about which is HTML5 canvas uh, J was JavaScript programming. Yeah, so our program is basically gonna consist of uh, uh, a few uh, sections. So let's uh, mark those out right now. So first we're gonna have our global variables, variables, and then we're gonna have our event handler which is gonna uh, look for uh, mouse the mouse if it's been moved or pressed or released and if the window the browser window is being resized etc uh, and we also want to have a section for the graphic graphics code and a section for the objects and we're just gonna have one object actually which is gonna be the ball but if you want to put more objects you can then the game loop and then uh, we want to have a section which initialize the game loop uh, basically it's um, basically it's it's starting the game loop so let's call this uh, let's go Now we've gotten a good start and uh, in the next tutorial we'll continue coding some more JavaScript. So I will see you then and have a good day.